Welcome to this video. Today I want to talk to you about what I believe may be the best, most secure, fastest web browser available and it's up on the screen right now. It is the Brave web browser and I will post a link down below in the video description where you can download this browser completely free. And I've talked about this browser before, but I want to make this video a little shorter than that one, more concise, direct and to the point. And there's also been some changes and updates since that video, so I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and talk about it again. Brave is built around security, privacy, and performance. It is built on the open source foundation of Chromium, which is actually the same foundation Google Chrome uses. Now, why does that matter? Well, because it's going to retain much of the same functionality as Google Chrome and feel familiar to users coming from Google Chrome. In fact, if I open up the menu here, you can see that it looks very similar to Google Chrome's. Even if I go to settings, in fact, we can compare these two. If I open up Google Chrome here, can see that the menus do look similar and again if I go to settings of course the color scheme is different and some of the settings are different but the overall feel is going to be very very familiar but there's a huge major improvement with Brave is that you don't have to worry about the privacy concerns that you have with Google Chrome there is no privacy in Google Chrome everything you do in Google Chrome is sent back to Google and so with Brave you don't have to worry about that. Now where this browser really shines is the built-in standard privacy and security features. If I go to a website, we'll just go to IGN.com, and if I come over here, there is what is called the Brave Shield. This has standard built-in security and privacy functions that normally you don't get standard in most web browsers without adding an extension. So right here we have our ad blocker, which we can turn on and off. Ad blockers are great as far as protection, security, and making the website load faster. The thing you have to worry about with those is that the content creators aren't getting paid. Brave has a solution to that. It's called the Brave Rewards Program. And I will post a link down below in the notes to more information about this program. But in short, it allows you to take the advantage of an ad blocker and the performance benefits from that ad blocker while still having a way for those content creators to get paid. It's a great, amazing program and you really should look into it. In addition to that, you, the user, can also make a little bit of money from that program as well. Additionally, we have our HTTPS upgrade, which is similar to HTTPS everywhere. It forces websites to upgrade to a secure version when available. You can see that our connection is secure. And then if we go back here, we have the option to block scripts. Now, this will break some websites, so you want to kind of, kind of play around with it, it does increase security. And you'll notice that when I turn it on, the website is not fully loading correctly. So if I turn it off, the website will work. Now, keep in mind that as I adjust these settings, it will remember these settings specifically the way I set them for this specific website. So when I come back, I don't have to adjust them again. We also can block third party uh, cookies as well as third party devices. And we can set global's uh, defaults for when we go to different websites. Again, it will remember the specific settings we've set, but we can also set defaults as well. Now, the next amazing little gem of this web browser is if I come up here to the menu and go to private window. Yes, this has an incognito or private window, just like every other single browser. But you have to understand that private browsing, all it does is keep your browsing history off the computer. It does nothing as far as protecting you from your internet service provider or the websites you go to or even your employer and that is what Tor is for and you generally do not find this function in most web browsers. This by no means is a substitute for the actual uh, Tor web browser but the average everyday user shouldn't be using that browser. This is where you should be here in Brave. Now what this does exactly is just what it says right here. It hides your IP address as well as it creates a secure way to view those websites so that people like your internet service provider and others cannot monitor what it is that you're doing. So you have increased privacy and security. To access this, all you do is go back to the menu and select new private uh, window with Tor. Now there are some downsides to it. Let me go ahead and load a website. We'll go back to IGN. When in Tor, websites may load a little bit slower as well as you cannot choose your location as far as your IP address. So you, you can see that because of our current location or what it thinks our location is, it has changed the language of the website, so that is a possible downside. On the flip side, you don't have to deal with a VPN where you have to first pay for this service and then also have to worry about whether or not they do or do not log you. Regardless, I think having the Tor just as an option is a great plus for this web browser. Now, a new function that they have kind of ironed out since the last video I made is 
they've added a sync option so you can sync across devices. It's located right here. Yes, this is available for Android as well as iOS devices and Mac, of course. And so having that sync option was a huge thing that was really needed because that was one of the things keeping people from wanting to switch to this web browser that is now available. Overall, I think this is one of the best web browsers that's available built around security, privacy, and performance. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this browser. Leave your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.